So there, uh, John here, and I will talk about techniques that you can use to block paths or holes that you may encounter during your mission. Blocking with platforms is particularly useful uh, in modern difficulty as it reduces the possibility of getting surrounded. For example, you find yourself in a tunnel where the storm is announced. The tunnel actually have three openings, as you can see here. One, two, three. If you let this happen, you might get overwhelmed as you try to keep track each opening. But guess what? As an NG, you can actually block like one of them or more. Like block it with plus grid, block it with plus grid. So you can just spend less time tracking all of this opening and then you can focus that firepower this way. Or maybe if you, if you don't close this tunnel, you can also spend your firepower here. So basically, the art with blocking uh, is actually lessen your mental load to keep track of every opening that you have. So in the next section, we will try to go case by case on how to close like a certain hole and then what to do with it. And then like probably some of the drawbacks as well. So the first uh, case of blocking holes or path uh, is actually one of the common cases like blocking a resupply hole. Uh, maybe someone in your team uh, is calling a supply inside the, uh, the temporary hold or maybe inside like this tunnel where you trying to hold your position. Uh, you don't want actually uh, additional bugs actually coming in from this tunnel as well. So you will see a lot of people actually doing this like pinging the tunnel, pinging you uh, as an engineer, just, just help to close this or whatever. So when you get called like that, uh, or maybe you see a resupply hole uh, in the place where you're holding. What you want to do is actually up. Uh, do not aim at the edge of this, but inside of this uh, tunnel. Uh, ideally, probably like like this. This I don't know what to call it segment. So aim at this, and then uh, you will see it like get blocked uh, partially. And then what? do you do now uh, you will aim at the edge of this one and then or just the middle actually and then shoot another one now the resupply hole uh, hole is actually blocked so if you see in the map it's actually uh, fully uh, blocked so the box actually cannot like get in so yeah, this is like just one less headache or uh, attack factor uh, that bugs will go through. So you can just have a peace of mind and then just take care of a box uh, from here and then probably set a trick on like this. So the box can uh, like getting uh, through like to the bottom and everything. So yeah, uh, that's basically the first case of like blocking just to the supply hold if you see any in the place where you're holding. Okay, so for the second case is you can actually close an angled uh, drill tunnel. So you can see here, this is like pretty angled, uh, probably like 45 degree. Uh, so you will typically use see this in, in extraction phase uh, where the drill just drill straight to the uh, drop pod. So what you want to do uh, in order to help the team actually get the drop pod safely, probably is actually blocking uh, the behind actually from the enemies because sometimes enemies can spawn behind so what you want to do uh in this case you want to angle yourself uh towards the downward angle and then you shoot first downward to the floor Platform. and then you shoot the hanging edge of the plastic itself one so it'll be close fully usually uh if you still need more just shoot another one after that but usually uh it'll be close immediately so this way let's say okay the drill is still going there's a gap uh, and then you can just shoot two more to actually uh block the enemies basically so you can also actually close the cave tunnel although it'll be a different uh technique ignore that platform over there uh so what you want to do is to actually alternate between left and right or mi probably middle as well if it's di it's actually pretty big so let's start with left. So we go right, left, go right again, uh, and then we keep going.
So you want to shoot like the the edge also. As you can see, there's like middle in the gap, uh, gap in the middle. So I'll just fill that up and keep shooting. There you go. Uh, so if you see there's like a little gap, uh, do not just shoot uh, to the, towards the floor, basically. Uh, and get as close uh, you can to the to, to fill the gaps, basically. There you go. Uh, it should be filled right now. Not the best work, but. Uh, this should get the work done. There you go. Right, so we already see the straight one. Uh, straight cave, uh, straight tunnel actually blocking. Now we will try the, the angled one. So if you can see here, we can see like angled tunnel. Uh, so what if you just want to do like one layer of uh, plats? So basically what you can do uh, you can actually uh, do a little bit similar to how you uh, do the uh, driller angle drill tunnel. So yeah, you want to shoot from below and then keep going like that. Yeah, if there's any gap, you want to fill that up. So just be rigorous in your uh, blocking. Get the gap there, there you go. So that's how you actually block an angled tunnel compared to the straight tunnel where you don't have to have an angle where you can just spread the blast grid basically. So yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so the last use uh, use case for this, uh, you can also actually block uh, the dirt, uh, or actually this is like a straight drill tunnel. So this is like the same principle as the blocking of the uh, cave tunnel. So you want to start from uh, top and then all the way to bottom. Maybe you ask, uh, John, how about since we are straight, like we all see from the bottom, right? Uh, why not start on bottom? Uh, because it's it's going to be hard for you to actually see from up here as well. Uh, you more likely to get actually trapped up there uh, rather from the below. So if you see this in this situation, uh, what you want to do is to dig yourself a bit down, see up, and then do this. Left, right, left. Uh, hang on. Uh, right again, and you proceed as usual. Uh, it's almost the same with the straight cave blocking. There you go. You just need to close the pothole, but that's fine. So that's how you close like a drill tunnel, uh, but straight basically. So aside uh, from actually closing the cave tunnel itself. I think as an engineer, you will be expected to also actually close potholes. Uh, for example, uh, holes like t uh, from TCF or probably uh, dread, uh, Dreadnought fight, uh, you will you will find yourself being asked to actually close potholes. Otherwise, you will have a bad time. Like, look at this. Like, you, you will get stuck while trying to run from the box in here. So you want to close these potholes. So what do you want to do? So I think there's multiple ways to close potholes. Uh, the economic one probably just putting a layer uh, of of this uh, and hope uh, it'll do the job like this. Then you will see a problem, right? So for example, if you like got exploded, you will create a, uh, or maybe this floor got exploded. Uh, it create a hole, and then it's a hole that. A lot harder for you to get out of so uh, that's why uh, in my opinion it's better to actually fill the whole thing although it's a it's a little bit more costly so yeah just just keep in mind your budget a uh, platform budget basically so for, uh, for here I will just do this uh, so the bottom is filled in 
So I'll do another one. Uh, around here. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. So if you got exploded as well, you will not get like over a situation compared to this one. So yeah, I think in, in my opinion, that's uh, like a better way to do potholes unless uh, the pothole that you actually trying to touch is super big. Like for example, a, a dreadnought tunnel uh, all the way to the uh, spawn location. That one you cannot like do repair. You just do this and accept the rest, I guess, or maybe move the cave. So yeah, that's how you post potholes with this. And lastly, this is something that I like to do, uh, but on the on elimination mission, you don't, you won't see anyone uh, do this often. But what I like to do, uh, if especially if you want to fight in the main room, the spawn room, uh, I would prepare the room like this. Uh, of course, probably drill, uh, remove some pillars. Uh, but as NG, you can do actually patch the drop pot hole so people can just uh, move around and not get stuck in here as you can see here how do i get out just keep jumping i guess there you go you might get uh attack down there so what do you want to do just do this uh, so you want to create like a bridge in the middle uh, that's my technique anyways but you can post this obviously in multiple ways but this is what i like to do so after the middle one uh, you will feel the left and right one uh, like so do another one on the left and then there you go uh, you got like nice feel to run with. You don't need to think about this hold. Uh, the only problem with this, uh, I think again with the same problem as the pothole situation. Uh, just be careful uh, when the dread uh, actually like hit this part. Uh, remember to patch it because people can just get uh, get dropped down there and then they will have a bad time. So yeah, SNG, you probably want to watch the dread and all the way to, to actually also prepare your platform gun <laughs> yeah it's it's like uh it's like multitasking with uh ng to be honest uh so if you see pothole you do it you see dread you do it uh, yeah it's it's a bunch of multitasking basically but yeah if you see pothole in here that's your job to patch it uh unless the dread is like n near death or something just just kill the dread uh, and then you won't need that uh, hole close anymore. So yeah, Let's that's it. Alright, that has been the uh, the art of blocking with plus grid. Hopefully it has been useful for you for the explanation. And I hope it's pretty clear as well. Uh, first time for me as well to do this kind of content with the voice. And yeah, if you see any more techniques that probably useful or probably you want to share as well. You can probably do that in the video comments or probably if you want to reach me live uh i also stream in twitch with the same name you can just reach me out and we will ha have some kind of discussion so yeah i think until then keep rock and stunning and see you in the next one